Hey, Mamiko team. Today we're diving into a must-know species for ant enthusiasts, Mesobarbarus, the famous granivorous ant, a fascinating species known for its organization, behavior, and unique lifestyle. If you want to learn everything about its care, stay tuned until the end. Let's start with its description. Mesobarbarus is a polymorphic ant species, meaning it has different sizes of workers. The miners, the smallest ones, measure around three millimeters. The medias, intermediate workers, range from six to eight millimeters. And finally, the majors, true tanks of the colony, can reach 12 millimeters, sometimes with a distinctive red head. The queen, on the other hand, is massive, between 14 and 16 millimeters. Another unique feature, they can produce a faint sound by rubbing parts of their bodies together, a behavior known as stridulation. An interesting fact, Mesobarbarus does not practice trophallaxis. Unlike other ant species, they do not share liquid food among colony members. Instead, their diet relies mainly on seeds. In the wild, Mesor barbarus is found in Mediterranean regions, primarily in grasslands and arid areas. Their nests are underground, often recognizable by the waste mounds they accumulate at the entrance. These ants are highly active and dominant, capable of building ant highways to facilitate movement. They use two methods to collect seeds, either gathering scattered seeds individually or transporting large amounts collectively to the nest. Once stored, the seeds are transformed into ant bread, a kind of nutritious paste that sustains the colony. So, how do you care for them properly? For temperature, the colony should be kept between 22 and 29 degrees Celsius, with an ideal range of 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. In terms of humidity, they prefer moderate levels, between 20 and 60 percent, 60 percent, with a humid area for drinking and a dry area for seed storage. When it comes to food, they are 100 percent granivorous. A good mix includes quinoa, wheat, canary seed, hemp, and other small suitable seeds. However, they also need protein for larval development. You can provide insects such as crickets, mealworms, or even small pieces of raw meat. One crucial aspect, diapause is mandatory. From November to February, the colony must be kept between 8 and 12 degrees Celsius to simulate winter. If you skip this hibernation period, the colony may weaken and the queen might stop laying eggs properly. Speaking of colony foundation, the queen of Messer Barbaris is claustral, meaning she raises her first generation of workers alone, without needing food. During this period, she should be kept undisturbed in a test tube with a water supply. In the first year, the colony will reach 50 to 100 workers, but beware, after three years it can exceed 1,000 individuals. For the nest, choose a durable material like resin-coated plaster, mortar, or cement. Why? Because Messer Barbarus is a burrowing species. If you use a standard plaster nest, they might dig through it and escape. Before you start, one last important point. Avoid buying polygon colonies. In captivity, some people try to force multiple queens to coexist, but in the wild, Messer Barbarus is strictly monogyn. Only one queen per colony. If there are multiple, they will eventually eliminate each other. Lastly, be mindful of the appearance of detritivor mites, which are common in Messer Barbarus colonies. Proper nest maintenance and waste management will help prevent their spread. In short, Messor barbarus is a fascinating species, perfect for intermediate keepers. If you enjoy observing a well-organized colony with active workers and impressive logistics, this is an excellent species to raise. And you? Have you ever tried keeping Messor barbarus? Share your experience in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the fascinating world of ants. See you soon on Alex for me.